Urukawa couldn't ignore that. Surely his feelings would sway. <laughs> Wishful thinking on her part. And then you came into the picture. Correct. But before the pregnancy came to light, Hikawa came under Arakawa's wrath. The family was destroyed. My mother was always frail, you see. Once she had me, the burden of raising a child alone was too much. A Yakuza's bonds are thicker than blood, we were told. <sighs> foolish words from foolish people. They never gave my mother a chance. When Hikawa died, the family went with him. I watched his men scatter like the rats they are. And yet... Please don't hate them. Not your father. Not any of them. Those were her last words. She was a fool too, it seems. Betrayed by the man she loved. Used by her own father. And tossed aside by those who called her family. If not her, if she couldn't take revenge, then why on earth shouldn't I? That's when this started. You wanted to make the Yakuza pay. That's right. Still, you said it yourself just now. Your aspirations were never meant to be. <laughs> How could they be? What would I have done? There's too many of you to count. Do I go around killing them one by one? Believe me, I would if I were able. <sighs> Everything I've accomplished, why, it was simply the next best thing. A compromise, you might say. Honestly, it's been a long road. I first tried to eradicate your kind as a police officer. But you were one step ahead of me. Your great dissolution scattered you all to the wind. And that wasn't all. In the confusion that followed, Masumi Arakawa went and got himself killed. That's when I realized vengeance would never be mine. That snake. I wanted to wring his neck myself. <gasps> Masumi Arakawa. It's true he was loved among the Yakuza, oh yes. But all I see is the wretch who left my mother to die. Ichiban Kasuga's reverence for him is a joke. A sick mockery of my life! Kasuga's blind as they come. He's no different than those that Bryce fooled. Another Palakana pig suckling at shit. You son of a... <sighs> anyway, my dream to strike back at Arakawa had clearly been denied. It took a good deal of time to recover, but I knew I needed a new plan. So I set sights on the Yakuza freed in the dissolution. All those years preying on those weaker than them, and now they wanted an honest life? Their dream would be as futile as mine. And it dawned on me. So what if they're scattered? I'll just round them up. The Tojo and the Omi might have disbanded, but not the Seryu clan. I baited new recruits however I could. A new Yakuza life? Fine. A cushy seat in society? But of course. Sure enough, they came marching in by the droves. Ants! Trickling in at the promise of sugar. <laughs> If they only knew how stupid they looked. <laughs> no later than that, I began thinking of a way to get rid of them all. When from Bryce comes a special business venture courtesy of our very own Eiji. By then, they'd already secured an LA island with Fujinomiya shipping as the means of transport. They just couldn't find the manpower. Now, they were dealing with radioactive material, so that was only natural. But to me, well, it all sounded very convenient. Those stooges in the Serio clan. 
I knew just what to do with them. It was clear as day. I could make them suffer, subject them to far more than just unloading waste. Nele Island is effectively a giant black box. There'd be no running away, no refuge from their pain. Their cries would never escape the island. They'd be at my whim, wouldn't they? What a gift the island turned out to be. Like an antlion's trap, before long, it would drag them all to hell. <laughs> AG proved more valuable than I thought. Nele Island wasn't all he brought me. I haven't told you, have I? AG's the one who figured out the truth behind Chairman Hoshino's murder. Wait, what? While at Bleach Japan, he learned much about Ryo Aoki. Or perhaps I should call him Masato Arakawa, yes? That hit on Hoshino was a ruse. Sawashiro was, for all intents and purposes, innocent in the affair. Amazing what a little leverage can do. He joined the Serio without hesitation. Right, and then you had Eiji's web skills. Tatara Channel was your ace in the hall. Ebina, it's clear you're angry. I won't deny you that. I wouldn't have the right. It was a different time. But when I was chairman of the Tojo, I had a chance. I could have changed the Yakuza for the better. I should have. But I did no such thing. Uh, Kiryu-san. Still, this has to end. I can't just sit back and watch as you burn it all to the ground. It's up to me to stop you. And believe me, I will. I'm gonna set this right. The sins of the Yakuza are mine. And if I have to, I'll take on every last one. Hmm. How very noble of you. Come on, you forget what we said downstairs? You in a lone wolf routine, I swear. Yeah, seriously. Now let's finish this together, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh. Well then, let's begin. Kazuma Kiryu is about to make his final stand. And at the Millennium Tower, no less. What could be more fitting? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Time to die. Kazuma Kiryu! Come on! Abina! Ideals all you want, you're still Yakuza! That's all you'll ever be! We're here! Who wants to go? I won't hold back. for mercy now. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. 